I want to talk to you today about the Feynman Technique. And the Feynman Technique is an excellent way to move past memorization to mastery of material. Richard Feynman was a physicist, and he was a famous physicist. He won the Nobel Prize in 1965. And he was known for his ability to teach. Other physicists called him the great explainer because Feynman was so good at taking complicated physics and explaining it in a simple way that people understood. And in his autobiography, Feynman talks about, well, I'm such a good teacher because my teaching and my learning style are exactly the same. And he discovered this when he was studying for his comprehensive exams at MIT. And Feynman describes trying to study for comps. And when most people, they're studying for comprehensive exams, they go back and they look at their old notes, they look at old books and they reread and they reread. But Feynman decided not to do that. What he did is he looked at all the physics he needed to know and he broke it down into small chunks, right? And so he said, okay, I'm gonna look at particle physics and particle physics is gonna get its own notebook. And he took a fresh notebook and he started writing down from memory. Here's what I know about particle physics started to organize it. And when you write things down from memory, you put it in your own language, you organize it in a way that makes sense to your brain, and you find your knowledge gaps. Most importantly, Feynman was finding out what he didn't know. And that's the hardest part about studying, is how do you know what you don't know? So once he found what he didn't know, that's when he went into his books, that's when he went into his notes, and he pulled all that information into that notebook until at the end he had a comprehensive notebook that had everything that he needed to know, but it was organized in a way that made sense to his brain. It was simplified in his language. And that's why he was able to teach so clearly because he took all the information he needed to learn and he organized it in a way that was sticky for his brain. It was in his own words and it was organized in a way that made sense to him as a unique learner. And that's what we need to do. So the first step of the Feynman technique is I need you to create your study materials. And for most of us, that's going to look like a study guide. You're going to look at all the different information that you're studying and you're gonna pull it into one document, just like Feynman did. And once you have it in that document, I want you to put it in your own words and to organize it in a way that makes sense to you. And once you've done the hard work of creating the study guide, we move to the second step of the Feynman technique, is you teach it. Now this is what most people know as the Feynman Technique, is that you learn by teaching. And you absolutely do. Because when you teach, you quickly figure out if you understand the material. You'll try to explain something and you'll be like, oh, I thought I knew this, but I actually don't, right? Someone will ask you a question, and if you're able to answer the question, outstanding. You are able to apply your information and answer a question. But a lot of times you're gonna be like, shoot, I don't know the answer to that. But these are all good things because they are pointing to, hey, you do not understand this well yet. You're finding your knowledge gaps. And so you grab those knowledge gaps and you find that information and you pull them into your study guide, just like Feynman did with his notebook. And this leads to step three, refine your information. So refine that study guide. And refining the study guide is three things, is you continue to organize it. You're going to figure out like this actually belongs over here and these items are like this and I need to understand this before I can get to this because this builds on each other. You organize it, then you simplify it. And simplifying is another thing that Feynman is known for. And he would often say, how would you explain this to a child? Because if you have this complicated thing and you're using academic language, you're using all that jargon, a 10 year old is gonna be like, I don't understand this. So how would you explain this to a child? You simplify it. Another famous physicist talks about the importance of simplification, and that's Einstein. And Einstein says, if you can't explain something simply, you do not know it well enough. If you can't explain something simply, you do not know it well enough. I love that quote. And so you continue to simplify the information until it makes sense to yourself. And the third thing that you do is you apply it. So when you apply something, you find real world examples. You tell a story and we are natural storytellers. That's how we learn best. And once you are able to apply something in a story format or find an example in the real world, what happens is, is that academic knowledge, that academic definitions, 
they become tangible, they become real, and once they're real, they become sticky, and you're more likely to remember it. And so now that you've refined your information, we move to the next step of the Feynman technique, is that you teach it again. And you're not just teaching the same stuff that you taught the first time, right? Because you've done something with that knowledge. It's called elaborative learning. When you elaborate on something, you add to it, you make it your own. It's not just reciting facts and repetition, repetition. It is now reconstructed knowledge. You have rebuilt it. You have taken it apart, you have figured it out, and you put it back together. So it's not about the repetition of knowledge, it's about the reconstruction of knowledge, and you teach that reconstructed knowledge. And of course, as you teach, you'll get that feedback whether you know it well or not. And that leads us to our next step, is that you go back and forth between refine and teach, refine and teach, refine and teach. And every single time you go through that cycle, you will get to know the information better and better and better. And you'll make new connections, you'll find new applications, you'll find different ways to understand the material deeper. That is how you move to mastery, beyond just memorizing a list, beyond repetition studying, is you teach and refine, teach and refine, teach and refine, until you understand something deeply. That is the Feynman technique. Mm -hmm.